the GPS bracelets after banning Orwell's 1984 being sold in the country. Thailand, which began arresting citizens last summer for reading copies of George Orwell's 1984, is now considering tracking tourists with GPS devices. Thailand's tourism and sports minister, I won't try to pronounce this name, Kabakarn Wata Anagavakarl, said the government is working with hotels and resorts to assign ID wristbands, including serial numbers of tourists, for future plans, including GPS tracking. As he first, it comes out with the bracelet, and then they train you for it. The next step would be some sort of electronic device that would not yet be discussed in detail, he told Reuters. So that story just went up on Infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. Before we get into some of the other issues, Jesse, and where you think the world's going uh, and the attempts to censor the internet that I was just mentioning before the break, uh, your court case, you know, I, I follow the news and there's still just a steady demonization campaign, kind of like when you were in Minnesota. They said you got pulled over by the cops at the airport starting fights and you were in Minnesota when that happened and came on the show and said, I'm in Minnesota, not true. Fox News reported that first. Then they said right when you drove into Mexico that uh, you'd been uh, running around saying you were glad Navy SEALs were dead and it had been beaten up. Of course, not, none of that was true, now proven in court. Uh, and then now I tune in. I mean, I just see stuff. Jesse Ventura's glad SEALs are dead. Jesse Ventura attacks widow when her insurance paid for it. Uh, I mean, what were you supposed to do? I mean, it's News Corp, and I'm not even attacking News Corp. I don't have a dog in the fight, but you're my friend. It's not true. News Corp published the book, and so they never tell people that. They just sit there. Re they really have it out for you. Why do you think that is? Well, you know, they won't have me on either to allow me to defend myself. I cannot go on Fox News. We've tried on multiple occasions. They won't. Yet they trash me continually. Well, I'm, I'm a danger to them. And it's also because they have a major conflict of interest. News Corp owns both HarperCollins and Fox News. So if I win a lawsuit against HarperCollins, that's money out of Fox News's pocket, you know, up, up the corporate ladder. So. They're being dishonest with the public and not telling them that they have a major conflict of interest and that they are with the, the, the uh, HarperCollins book that I might add made $40 million off that book. Now, they paid the estate. Now, let's go to the estate for a moment. I've been accused of going after the widow and her children. Well, it's not true. You cannot find one legal document that says I went after Taya Kyle, the widow. I sued Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle tragically died. Well, then it's standard procedure. The lawsuit ships from the person to the person's estate. Taya Kyle, the wife, came in and became the executor of this estate by choice. She knew the lawsuit was there. She knew it was pending. And she chose to become part of it because the executor to an estate can be a lawyer. It can be an uncle. It can be anybody. The state approves it. She wanted it. She chose to do it. So she became the executor of the state and entered into the lawsuit. Now, everything on her end was covered by insurance. She didn't have to pay for the big table of lawyers. She wasn't even involved in settlement talks. The last settlement talk, they wanted to leave her in Texas. She didn't even have to come up to be part of it from their side. And so, but yet the media continues to portray me like, who is the, who is the little guy on CNN? Uh, who said, have I no shame, uh, uh, Anderson Cooper, and all this. And, and Fox News continues to say, well, witnesses showed that da None of these people were ever in the courtroom, Alex. So when they refer no, to... No, no, they just got fake evidence, witnesses that they pulled out of their, you know what, and then it's... Exactly. Exactly. What when they talk about any evidence in this case, they're making it up because they were not in the courtroom... I was there every I agree. Day. They lost the case. The they lost the case, and I tune in, and they act like you lost. Well, and they make it look like somehow the jury was wrong, and that how could the jury did it wrong? The jury was not wrong. The evidence was so overwhelming that he never hit me. We never had a confrontation, and the whole thing was fabulous.
opportunity. Well, it's ridiculous. And you're not going to go in a Navy SEAL bar where you're friends with the owner for a commencement and then uh, st say you're glad SEALs are dead and obviously get in a big fight. I mean, it's just, and plus, I know you. You're all about not getting in confrontations and all about being nice in public. It's just pure, absolute crap. Yeah, and when it came out that way, but again, Fox News, even to this day, continues to make it look like I'm guilty. And as I said, it never happened. Hey. The jury heard the evidence. Hey. And then they get on me because they awarded me $1.84 million. Well, most of that's going to go to my attorneys, and I didn't ask for that. That's what the jury awarded me. Listen, That is the jury, what they did. Governor B Bill O'Reilly, we played the clip, or I'm going to play it again had a thing about cyber-stalking women on the Internet and sex crimes and cut to a clip of my face yelling and had my face turn red and said, we've got to ban the hate. And my lawyer said, no, clearly that's, that's an attempt to defame you. You could win it, but it would cost millions and take years. Well, just like you've had to do, uh, MSNBC said the Boston bombers were influenced by me to blow stuff up with no evidence. So the question is, why are they doing dirty tricks on you? Dirty tricks on me. They've been doing it to Rand Paul as well. Having Democrats dress up like Klan members and show up at his events. Luckily, we caught them. It's because they've got our phones tapped. None of us are perfect, but they know we're real. And they're scared of anybody who might ever tell the truth. So they're trying to assassinate our character. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, we're considered, I guess, their rival. We, we're not in their court. We're not in what they're trying to do. So naturally, we are the enemy. And so uh, they're fortunate to have the power of the media in their back pocket who can then continue to portray us. I mean, Alex, I love it how they portray me as some out of, out of like I'm out of my mind and a wild man. You know, that people believe I'm out of control of all this. Oh. You've met me. I'm always, I, I'm never out of control. I'll tell you. I, you know, I'll, it's, it's so laughable, you kind of chuckle over it, the way they try to portray me in the media. Let and me tell you a story. Photos of you. I'll tell you how, how, not dumb, but not paying attention to the public is. Every time Hulk Hogan gets in trouble, I get emails or on the street or my neighbors come over. Or, I, or if I'm at a party, and they go, hey, your buddy Jesse Ventura got caught in a sex tape. Hey, your buddy Jesse Ventura, you know, just got divorced and his son just wrecked a car. And I go, no, that's Hulk Hogan. Jesse Ventura is all about being in control of his life. And, and they go, no, whatever, cover up for your friend. So it's, it's almost like an Americana to be ignorant, you know. Oh, uh, Assad gets attacked by Al Qaeda. We fund him, and then we blame Assad. I mean, it's like a religion of being ignorant in America. I'm not trying to be mean here, but I have experienced it with you. You don't look like Hulk Hogan. You've got dark hair. He's got blonde hair. I guess you're both big guys. You were rivals. So how does I, look? If I've seen this myself, am I right, or have you experienced being blamed for Hulk Hogan? <laughs> well, I've been blamed for him a few times, and I don't know. Maybe he's been blamed for me, too. I have no idea on that. But there was a time that we both had bleach blonde hair, and we were both big wrestlers. And so, you know, it doesn't bother me that I can get mistaken for him at times. I don't care about that. But uh, it does bother me, though, if he does something and I get the blame for it, if he does something that's not particularly too good, you know, people should have enough common sense to be able to distinguish the two. But then again, mistakes can be made. But What's happening with our media is not mistakes; it's intentional. Exactly. You know, they, well, they're they, playing they, on the public's ignorance. I mean, they're 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 yep. yeah. Yep. They, and, and that's what they do. They play on the public's ignorance, and they and they, they always make, like they make me out to be some out of control guy. And now, because I did an entertainment show called Conspiracy Theory, allegedly I have no credibility, and he's one of those conspiracy nuts. Well. People need to also remember, nine out of ten times when the government gives you their story, it is likewise a conspiracy theory. It's only a theory what they're telling you, because it's never backed up with any hard evidence. They just tell you their side of the story. But yet, and, and, and I love too, Alex, how today they've morphed the word truth into being bad. If you're called a truther today... Something's wrong with you. You're out of control. You're 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 a crazy person. So by the opposite thought, you mean liar is now good? You know I don't get this. 
truth used to stand for something, and they've morphed it today into truth being bad. Well, and I don't think it's working. Like that, we have to overcome. I don't think it's working. Congress has a 7% approval rating. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to calls, Governor, but, but first off, sure. go back to that question. In your gut, with your son or your daughter, your whole life, do you think humanity's going to make it and survive? I and mean, we've got the West clearly in the wrong trying to start a war with Russia. And I'm not even defending Putin. Well, it's, it's just clear he's starting to fight, in my view. I, I, I don't think, I think all of it's planned and it's all a big scare tactic, like what Elf Fletcher Prouty said at the end of World War II, how all wars would now be fought in third world nations and they would be fought to where the military would have no direct objective to achieve where they could claim victory. And every war has been that, so I tend to believe what Colonel Proudy said because the proof's in the pudding. It's what's happened. And I think all these wars are done on purpose as a, really a distraction and, again, to fulfill an economy that is war-based. They have to keep us at war now. We have to keep making these planes. We have to keep making these implements of war. So until we change our culture, this is what we're going to get.